כן. הרינו לא עומדים, my father's your set is coming soon, מנחם בן עקיבא, שבס, שבס is your set. Yeah, yeah, שבס, my father is, um, I think, 10th your set. Yeah, so we are now in, בצחס שבס, דף, סדי, דלת, עמוד בייז, in the bottom of the page, still talking about cutting your nails on שבס, in a way that is שלוי כדרך, right? So we have established already, according to Rashi Echidesh, Cutting nails is a told of goizes. Goizes doesn't only apply to animals. It applies to, you know, hair and nails of human beings as well. According to Toysus, by the way, <laughs> up until now, I avoided the issue, but you should realize it's really, really not simple to say that if you cut your hair on Shabbos, you chayev, according to Abshimen. Because the Pashtis, it's a big discussion in the Rishonim Nachoinim. Because if you cut your hair, the hair that's on the floor by the barber, you, you throw it in the garbage. So it's in a gufa. You don't want the hair. Big discussions. I'm just telling you that this is a whole, a whole huge beer. Aloha. There's a lot going on here. Just you should know, I don't mind giving sheer about it, but it's not the platform right now. Now, let's continue. Tanya Rabshimel Veloza Oimel. We are in the middle of the wide lines. Yeah? Sipoyrem Shapirsha Ruba. Yeah, a tzipoyren, a nail, the, which most of it already before Shabbos by itself, most of the tzipoyren already was by itself cut off. Yeah, if sometimes the nail is like half cut off or mostly cut off by itself. You have it like, you know, hanging loose, right? And it's annoying you. The tzitzin shapirshu. These are called cuticles in English, right? Those little uh, pieces of skin over here. So tzitzin shapirshu, ruban, if they're most of them are already off. Most of it is off, so maybe it's allowed to already remove it, because, I don't know, beyond muta, you're allowed to remove them with your hand, but kli chayv chatos. So, that's interesting. If you do it bekli, with a nice nail clipper, you chayv chatos. I don't care about majority, it's still on your skin. So, you did the, boom, the final blow, the nail clipper clipped it off, you chayv chatos. But if you do it with the hands, it's allowed. Frankly, eh? how could that be? Me committed the bakli chayv chatos to biad muta lechatchila. There's no such thing. Why? Yad is what shinui. Shinui is also medarabanon. It's still also not allowed. Are you allowed to turn on the light with your elbow? Chas v'shalom. When your wife is uh, giving birth, maybe. Not stamazoi. It's not allowed. It's also medarabanon. What's going on here? Yeah. Answers the Gemara. Hachi koamar. This is what the Bryce meant to say. Pir shuruban. Bayad muta with your hand, if most of it is off already before, you're allowed to remove it with your hand. However, bekli potu oval also. Oh, it's different. Because it's mostly off already, it's not considered as something which is properly attached. The majority is already off. Allah views that as off, but Rabbanon don't allow it. That's a, even the kli, it's only also the Rabbanon, because the status of the tzipoyron of the nail is considered to be off, but it is similar to, to on. <laughs> it's still hanging by a thread or hanging by the minority, and therefore Rabbanon did forbid it. Oh, so wait a second. So now, because it's only also the Rabbanon with a kli, yeah, with my hand, I'm allowed to do it. There is a limitation, we'll see. Now, at least we're talking here with the Rabbanon. But the Rabbanon, I can remove it with my hand. Rabbanon only forbade it with a kli. They did not forbid it when it's two conditions, mostly off and only with my other hand. You have a nail that's mostly off and you remove it with the other hand. That is allowed. That level, Rabbanon will not go there. It's a kind of trade Rabbanon. It's mostly off and with your hand. Although we're going to see a third condition soon. Okay? Now... That's number one. Pirshu Rubon, yeah. Bayad, one second. Loi Pirshu Rubon, sorry. Loi Pirshu Rubon, if they're not mostly off, only minority, let's say 40% of the nail is off and 60% is still attached, yeah. Bayad, Poto Ovaloso. With your hand, Poto Ovaloso. It's only also Midor Bonon, yeah. Bekli Chayv Chatos. That makes sense. It's chayv chatos because it's considered as on. The majority is attached to the body, so it's on. You go both to the roid. Always in aloha. Why are you allowed to do it through your hand? You're not allowed to. 
פוטר, אבל אסור, רגילר. In other words, also the rice, huh? To do it בשינו, it's פוטר, like, like turning on the light with the elbows, בשינו. However, here comes a very big caveat, comes a big limitation to the cooler side. Amar v'yuda, halokha kir b'shim le b'na lozo, very nice. We say halokha is like what we just said. Again, what did we say? We said that if the majority is off, you're allowed to remove it with your hand. That was the biggest kula. What did we allow here at the end of the day? It's mostly off, and with my hand, I remove, then it's fine. Very nice, but... אומר רבא בר בר חנא אומר בי יוחנן והוא שפיר שהוא כלפי מעלה הוא מצר אויס אויס אוי אינטרסטינג אין אדר וורדס איטס אונלי אלאוד במוקום צר רבונון דו נאט אלאו יו טו דו סינגס איבן איפה איטס טו דה רבונון יו אונלי אלאוד טו דו סאמפינג דאס אוסם דה רבונון סאמפטמס יו ניד טו לייר דה רבונון איבן דה ואלד ריזן כאילו שאין בו סכון או בר מצווה ווא גונסי לייטר ווד בריס מילה ווא סי קייסס אין דף קוף למד דה אריה Or tsar, in other words, the nail is whatever tsar means, driving you crazy physically. Wow. It's like really annoying or hurting that the, the finger or the cuticle is half off, half on. Sometimes it bites a little bit into your skin and stuff. Then if it's spirish klape mala, in other words, if the way that the cuticle is going is upwards, whatever that means, and it's causing you tsar, then pain, then you're allowed to remove it. What's Klapi Mala? Machlokes Rashi Toisfes. Klapi Mala, Rashi says, L'tzad HaTzipoyren, towards the nail, this way, and Toisfes says, look at Toisfes, you can see Toisfes for yourselves, the other way. Toisfes says, yeah, Toisfes, look at Toisfes, he says, no. That, when we talk about Klapi Mala, says Toisfes, yeah, not Klapi the fingers, but Klapi a goof, this way. In other words, either the cut this way or cut that way. Mechloikes, what's called the valid tsa'ar, halachically, either it's, I don't know exactly physically what the story is, either the tsipoyren is, the bit is cut off here, or the other way, it's on here and cut off here somehow, whichever direction. Mechloikes hashi toisves. This is one of the funniest things, not funny, it's an interesting you said in Aloha, because it's a mechloikes hashi toisves, you know, the Aloha says at the end, it can't be made up. That's what it says. Because the Shulchan Aruch says that, Shulchan Aruch Mishnah Bura. In other words, when you don't know, when did Halacha validate the pain to call it painful enough to allow you to break this other abonon of taking Bayad? Only upwards. Not what you or your doctor say is painful, but what Halacha says is painful. Mechlok Yusash is as painful as this way or that way. The Tzipoyeran is attached here or attached upwards or downwards. So because we don't know, we have to be machmir. And therefore, la loch, you can't be mekel. So even if it's hurting you, yeah, you have to be moisel nefesh l'shabbes and not cut off the nail even with the other hand. Interesting, that's what I saw in Shulchan Aruch, Shin Mem. Eh, no, that's not in Shin Mem, that's in Shif, Shin Kav Ches. V'chena Godeles, now let's talk a shtickle, this is for the Rebetzins, now you'll have what to tell your wives. V'chena Godeles, what did we see in the Mishnah? Godeles kocheles pokeses. We saw three Isurim, which Rablezo says Yuchayev, and Chachomim say it's only the Rabbonon. Rablezo says the Raisa. Godeles is to, how do you say, to braid, to make braids, to plait. The plaits, the braids, can't make a braid on Shabbos. And Kocheles is the lady who puts eye makeup. You know, it's called eyeliner, according to the people that I know at home. Yeah, yeah, the eyeliner thing. And Pokeses. Pokeses, you know, let's stick to one shot just to uh, leave me... Uh, Sure. It's simple. But guess this shot is some kind of haircut which is very um well invested. I have a feeling which I know what it is from Rashi, but Pokesis means that she's doing something in her hair which is Khoshuv. In other words, it's not a tsama, it's not a braid, but I think it is. It's either like she splits her hair very nicely and she does like a nice haircut, or I think they would like they take like a stick and they turn it round and round the stick kind of thing like that. Some We'll see. Which Av Malocha you have? You're going to see that's the fun of Shabbos to always find out. It's like a guessing game, yeah? Guestimating. What is the Av Malocha, right? That each action is connected to. You have all types of things that are not allowed to do on Shabbos because of what? Poisev, Tsover, what's the father? Which section does it belong to in the law? To make a plant is like weaving. 
just like you weave and you create a piece of cloth fabric, when you take the hair and you create a whole three layer uh, braid, it's considered as if you are weaving. Okay. Kocheles mishum koiseves. Wow. When she when I said eyeliner, I meant what I said. Yeah, I spoke to my wife today, by the way. Yeah. Koiseves, they put like a thing around the eye, right? It's koisev. What's koisev? Koisev, she makes like a like a round thing around the eye. It's like the shape of an O or a samich. So it's like writing. And she wants that surah, that shape to be on her eye. That's what's nice and fashionable. And therefore it's called koisevis. We're going to discuss today one of the interesting, fascinating things. The difference between koisev and tzovea. Very interesting stipler I'm going to mention. Yep. Pokeses mishum toivo. The pokeses is because of spinning. She takes the hair. Then it's beosea. That's what I think. It's, it's like curly or something. And she, what, what's, what's spinning? You take a few threads and you spin them into one thicker thread. Right? So she's oh. like, that's what she does to her hair. That's it. She goes like this, like this. She's like spinning, not a braid. The braid is mamish three big ones. This is like she sama does with the hair, metakenis ben it's beoseha, like that with the fingers, and she makes like one nice long thread from the hair. That's called toiva. That's creating a thread, spinning. Okay. No way. No way. They say loyacholiot cannot be. It's impossible. It's not the normal derech of bariga and tviyah. Says Tosis, why? Says Tosis, one reason ain't so for the iskayim. In other words, all these things are on the human body. At the end of the day, the woman when she goes to sleep, she'll undo the braid. You don't undo fabric. Yeah. Okay. By the way, the eye, the eye shadow, eye eyeliner shadow. I'm getting confused all the stuff. <laughs> all these. Uh, that's a different reason. We're going to see something else fascinating. But the toiva and the oranges is for fabrics. In other words, not everything applies to every item. For example, sovea doesn't apply to food. Mechatech doesn't apply to food. Me'amer doesn't apply to anything that doesn't grow in the ground. Not every av melochi applies to every item, every object. So first of all, it's not barkium. And I'm adding to Toysavis, based on my general knowledge, not everything applies to the human body. Who told you the toiv applies to the human body? Look at Toysavis. Toysavis says, yeah, that it's even Toysavis himself is saying it. To oreg, to, to weave your hair, is not like weaving beged. It's a different kind of, 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 of dynamics completely. Maybe a human body, not everything applies to. And therefore... Mamish at the end of the page. Yeah. The Kosevis there's something else. I says I know Rabbi Yosef Bachanina told me the real reason for all three. By the way, I'm sorry I'm stopping Akiva. I owe you an apology. I answered you too quickly the other day about your question, and then I saw that I was half wrong. So I'll talk to you later about uh, it's all, if you have twice or once. Ooh. When a woman when she does the makeup, she's not koiseves, she's tzovas. Why is the Gemara all of a sudden happy? I'll tell you why. The stipler says, let me tell you, you're going to fall on the floor. You can always divide the 39 malochas of Shabbos to two types of malochas. Challenge, do it over Shabbos. Some malochas you create from almost nothing, and some malochas you're improving an existing thing. Some malochas about mamish creating, producing, manufacturing, the other ones, you take something and you improve it. So there versus Koisev. I'm, I'm spending time here, Beyo, and Hashem should forgive me. Yeah. Writing is writing a message. There's nothing on the paper, and I'm writing, Hi, I'm Akiva Taichto, right? I'm writing a message. There's Machlot is Tanoim. If you're writing something not sensible, you write uh, Beis uh, Kuf. I don't know. There's no sense. You're not Chayv, possibly. Yeah. When you make a picture of a cat, when you draw a cat or a house or a chair, you hide because of koisev, because you made a message. Instead of C-A-T, I drew a cat. That's what I'm chayiv. So there is different. When somebody already has a cat drawn on the thing and the other child comes and he colors in, that's so there. So there is taking something and improving the existing item, yeah, the chair or the paper, and it's all. Oh. When a woman does makeup, she's not interested in drawing. It looks like a samech. She wants to beautify her face. She's not making pictures. Unless she's going to put a tattoo on the face. That's people are sick in the mind. Yeah. She. What did she do? She wants to take the natural beauty and improve it. So she's savas. 
the embassy is the embassy's Rambam is much more also the Arishonim hold the disco service. Some people hold with the first shot, but this is a very nice one. You want to hear a, clear, a, a very cool nafkamina? I'm scared to say aloha lamaisa, but you know that a woman, according to some points, can may remove the makeup on Shabbos. Why? Because why aren't you allowed to erase? Erase is the brother malocha of koisiv. If you have text written, cat, or somebody drew a heart on the face, and it's that that's koisiv, you're not allowed to remove it, because moichek is the opposite of koisiv. But sovea doesn't have an opposite malocha. So you can remove the makeup and Shabbos. Ask your local Orthodox rabbi if he says no. No, but that's what I, I learned. Why? Because once that's a huge enough kamina. If the Israel is Tsovea, Tsovea doesn't have an, a contra Israel of Moichik. And Tsovea means to improve the Torah. There's a very beautiful long title about it. I wish we had time. The lady who makes the braid or that nice spin in the hair, she is high because of building. Now we're happy to say that she's weaving, it doesn't make sense. But to say that she's building, that makes sense. Huh? Why is it any better? What? Also, building is a house, not a woman's hair, which is going to fall in, in one hour. Frek de gemore, the chiderch binyan bekaf. Is that called building? Are you normal? To build, she's making a braid. What's building, right? In, yes, says the Gemara. Kededorosh or Bishomer Bermanasia. From Parshish Bereshis, from the creation of Odom Vechava. Vayiven Hashem Elokim is a tzela. Hashem built the tzela, you know, the rib, the side, whatever it means. Hashem built Chava, and he brought her to Odom. How did he build her? Melamed Shekila Kodesh Baruch Chava made a braid. You want to know what kind of hairstyle Chava had? Brand, right, I'm serious. Braid, uh, plant, yeah? The Viet Zal Odom, Shechen Bekan Chayam, Koran Le Kalisa Benisa. In the overseas places, they called the Tzama, the, the plates, they call it a building, which means, Enachinami, you want to ask me? I wouldn't say that human beings, that Binyan applies to human beings, just like weaving doesn't apply. But guess what? The Torah thinks otherwise. If the Torah calls what? Chava's hairstyle, which was a braid or a spin, whatever she had, the Torah calls that ve'even. I too follow the Torah and not my own velabatish mind, and I also call it binyan. That's a board. I it's going to fall apart eventually. So it's not a machlokis rishonim. Some say that to make a braid is the oraisa, and some say no. The Torah told you that it's called Binyan, but because it's not Kavua forever, it's not only the Obono. It's Mechloik is the That's as far as I remember from Chvist from here. Tanya. Rabbi Shem Rav Loza Oimer. Goydenes, Kochelus, Pokeses. All these beautifying business, the makeup and the hair. Le'atzma Ptura. If she did it for herself, she is Potu. Le'chaver Tochayevet. A woman does her own makeup, her own hairdressing for herself, she is Potu. And only if she did it for a friend, she is Chayev. Don't get confused with the unprofessional, which we learned yesterday. This is done nicely. To do it nicely is better to do it to your friend. Also, the mirrors back then were not as good as today. So it's harder to do my own makeup or my own hair, right? It's easier to do it to, to another person, like facing facing her, like the cosmetician does to the to the woman. So, so, Rabbi Shem Lozo says, By the way, it's not halacha, it's not true halacha. It's not nisak halacha. Yeah? Mishum Rabbi Eliezer, Ish alotav yasak al panea mipnei shetzavas. Another halacha, another cosmetically uh, connected, uh, related halacha, is a woman shenat esrak, is like she puts uh, a, a lot of like red color on her face. She puts, as she says, like batsik. In other words, she like uh, no, how do you call it? The blush, blush. It's called blush, right? Blush. She shouldn't put blush on her face because it's of us. It's of us, right? So again, the shadows the abano dois of how long it's going to stay. Today you have some that are very long lasting. Actually, that's what I've heard. So it could be dois. Again, I don't know. I'm saying, but is a concept is there? It's called sovas. The same as we saw before. It's not called. That's not even having the place kosevis. By the way. In the eyes, there was a havamina, there's such a service because she wants to have a shape of an eye. So it's a sticker like, like writing. She's still saying, I have the eye drawn like a tattoo. Meshenkin, when she does a blush, for sure it's Tzavas. It's not a shape, she's just coloring her, her face. So that's for sure the Kulam. Okay. What? Oh, so Mulmanola, Aloha Lamais, as far as I remember, you see, there's no Aloha here. You see, there's no English, but. Laloch, even if she does it to herself, especially today when they have good mirrors, she's yeah, it's also her. if it's if it's Doraisa, 
then if she do it to herself, is also the wife. As far as I know, I mean, fine. Yeah, the kids are women should not make up in Shabbos. That's a maskona. <laughs> Don't know about it. Oh, here we come to, we're moving from this to another area of cheese and milk. Moving to the dairy section. Tono bonon. A choyled v'amichabetz v'amigaben kegrogeres. A person who milks a cow, he milks a cow or sheep or whatever he wants to milk on Shabbos. Huge, 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 endless issue. Choyled and the size of milk that he was choyled is grogeres. Amichabetz. Amichabetz is when you start making the cheese. So at the beginning, you know, they put, they used to, I guess, the more modern, they used to put some kind of like the, you know, like the curd, like the, this enzyme that you put inside. And then it begins to separate the milk, the whey, right, from the curd. And you see, nozel yeah, right? And it begins to separate. Rashi says also, to make it even worse, mechabits, you do it dafka in a porous kind of, of, of baskets, and all the whey would, would sit out. And inside, you only have the hard stuff. Okay? However, the hard stuff wasn't one big piece of cheese. There's a lot of stuff floating around, a lot of small pieces. Megabin is when you join them all together. You get the ways out, is out of the way, excuse the pun, and you have a few pieces of like raw cheese or, or whatever it is, and you megabin, dvina, to build, to gather them together to one solid piece, that's the last stage Megabin. On all three pieces, Chav Gogers, and each one is a separate Av Melocho. Continue to the second part of the Brisa. A person who sweeps the floor, a person who washes the floor, not Mamish Sponja. He, he like splashes water on the floor to make it, you know, wetter and like to, you know, their floors were made out of uh, dust, you know, that of dirt, of earth. So you don't want the dust to come up, you wet it. To make it, you know, lie down and be more, you know, reasonable, flat. A person who takes out the honey from the honeycomb. Yeah. What What about all these six or all, all those six? All six malachas are chiyub chatas. And if you did it in Yomtov, you look at Yomtov. There's a question about Oichel Nefesh. Let's not enter there. Yeah, you you like a thirty nine malchus, but kids are it's a chiyuv diva blazer. The big big machlokes is showing him if um, because our blazer talks about all six cases: the three malachas to do with cheese, the two malachas to do with the house, and one with the honey. And they are all chiyuv the rice according to our blazer. Each one for a different reason. The chachamim oimrim echad zeh echad zeh en al mishum shavus. Chachamim say no, it's only dorabanon. Now the huge machlokes is showing him. When, what did Chachamim say was only Drabanon? The second group? That's for sure. The second group, which is what? Taking honey from the honeycomb is only Drabanon, and sweeping and sponging the floor is only Drabanon. The milk stuff is L'choy, Chachamim agrees Doraisa. Okay? That's that's how many Rishoni believe. Now the Gemara is going to, nice and slow, if, if, you do, if you're unclear with any of the six at the end of the day, come to me, you'll deal with it. Avnachman Belguria Iklan and that's, up until now, we don't understand anything. We just know there are six malochas. Now we're going to slowly explore each and every one of the six. Bomine, the ask of Nachman Belguria. A person who milks the cow on Shabbos, why is he chayev? Which av malochah does he belong to? Omerlu mishum choylev. Choylev is because of choylev. Okay. Mechabis mishum ha'mechayev. The one who separates the curd from the whey. What is the chayev? Omer lo mishum mechabetz. It's because of mechabetz. Are you guys happy? Mechabetz. Megabin mishum mechayev. Omer lo mishum megabin. Why is megabin mechayev? Because of megabin. What? Omer lo so they told him. Rabcha katil kani beagmava. You know the famous line. Not lo katil. Not lo katle kanya. Right? Nachon omer lo katle kanya. If they said your rebbe is katle kanya, your rebbe is an amor. That's for sure. Rebbe is an amor. It is a guy who cuts the reed in the in the thing. Is a weed cutter, which means he doesn't know how to teach or doesn't know the Mishnah. What kind of answer is that? How can you say Cholav is Cholav? I just told you. Every Malach and Shabbos, we have to connect it to one of the 39. Why aren't you allowed to drive the car in Shabbos? Because I'm driving the car. Which Av Malach? What are you driving the car? Why is it also? Which Av Malach does it belong to? You have to understand what he meant, obviously. Maybe his rabbi just taught them between us, you know, that this is also because it's also. But why? Why is what's Av Malach? So, also shall be midrasha. He went and he asked in the Tell me, 
Why is there a chiyuv? Omer lei cholev chai bishu mefarek. Oi vei vei. Cholev chai bishu mefarek. Mefarek is a total of dash. Dash is when you take the, well, the, 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 the kernels out of the wheat. Mefarek means mefarek dobo migiduloi. Where something where something grew something something grew somewhere naturally, like the kernel inside the chaff, inside the wheat, and oh, you took it out by pressing it, that's threshing, you hide. Okay? So peeling is dash. When you peel something it's not supposed to peel, it could be dash. Yeah, if you're peeling uh, something too long, too too long before the meal, it's mefari. Now, so also the milk. The milk is grew naturally, grew naturally inside the others, others that you need. And in the others, you take it out, it's mefarik. Well, very nice. Huge problem, huge problem with like 10 different answers. And that is a cow. Last time I checked, cows don't grow in the ground. I don't think so. They don't grow from the ground. A, they are not gidula karka. And the opinion of Chachomim Dap Einher Modalef in the bottom of the page is Ein Dash Elab Gidula Karka. So some Rishonim say, just quick, 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 some Rishonim say that cows are Gidula Kalka, like in Eruv and Dach of Zayin on the base, because they grow from the, because they eat from the ground. So uh, I'm saying indirectly they're called Gidula Kalka, and some say really it's not because of, that's a sheet of Abiyuda. Abiyuda thinks that Dash applies to non Gidula Kalka, right? And some say that it's because, Rabbi Natham says, it doesn't mean mefarek. It's really because the halach is not mefarek. Is because when you when you squeeze the milk out of the others, you memareach, you you smear it, and you make it smoother. That's why you chayv. The kids are. And by the way, and by the way, those who show him will say that the first three are really midorabon, and according to rabbon, that's why because they say it's not gedul akarka. That's what doesn't apply to it. It's only the rabbon. Until today, the machlokis are showing him if milking a cow is doraisa, maybe the rabbon. There's no dish of Gidula Kaka, so why is it also? Rabbanu can do whatever they want. That was the kids, so just a glimpse on this whole huge issue. Obviously, because what are you doing? You're bringing something into the milk, right? And you separate it. You cause separation, especially if we say that there is this, you know, porous, full of holes kind of basket. All the milk is out the way, and the good stuff is inside. Here's another huge, beautiful isoid of the another stifler of the of Abyssal Zalman and Meltzer. Which means, you hear that? You take the pieces of cheese together and you make from them the curd is you know floating all over. You concentrate it, you solidify it to one piece. That's called boine. So whenever I teach about Ovis and Toldus, that's always the first year I give. Boine has two very, very separate Toldus. One told it is you take one awning, one piece of tent, and you connect it to the ground, you have boine, right? And you make cheese, you have because of boine. Why? What's a normal boine? Boine is when you build a house. The building house is now in the chish, everyone makes extensions. Can I know it? So what? So now you take bricks, pestle, yeah, mortar and bricks. You take pieces, you join them. That's the action to join things together. And at the end, you have roof over your head. That's the result. Every tolder has to be similar to the av, either by action or by result. The cheese is similar in action. Because, right, you don't have a house, you don't live in a cheese, you're not a mouse or a tolas. You don't, you, the cheese is not a house, but a cheese is a paula is similar to boina. You take pieces, you build them into a whole new reality. The other tolder is when you took one piece and put over your head and you connected it with, with nails, you only took one piece. You didn't join different pieces. Or you have roof over your head, that's similar in the result. Tolder has to be like the father, either in the result or in the action. This is a classical example of Vissel Zalmanetzel brought down by the stipler. Right, Baruch Hashem. I told you, the sheer, the Omer is, is insane. Right, Baruch Hashem. Now, let's continue. Okay, the last group. The one who sweeps the floor, the one who washes the floor, and the one who is Lirdot is to remove, to take away the be the how is it called in English? Not beehive, uh, be no uh, honeycomb, 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 honeycomb. He takes out the honeycombs from the beehives on Shabbos. Shogag be Shabbos chayv chatos, hazid be yom tov lo kabayim tiver blazer. So this honeycomb, we don't know how connected it is to the ground, but when he removed it, you chayev chayev because of what? Why can't they have some honey on Shabbos exactly? Amar blazer, my time of blazer. 
רבי לוזו, דה אמוירו, אקספרס רבי אליעזר דה צז יוחייב, דכתיב אי צז ואיתבול אויסו ביארס הדבש. אי צז דה בק יוינסון, דה סן אוף שול, אנד דוביץ בסט פרנד, דה שול טולד איס סולדיירס, נובי דה לאט טו איט, אנטיל יו ווין דה וור אגנסט דה, אני חושב, פליש טים, אי מייד אבאו, אשבו הנדר, דונט איט, פייט, סטאפ איטינג אורדי, פייט, 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 אנד אין יו גט טו איט. יוינסון דינט יר דה שבוע, סו יוינסון פרסט אייט, אנד אין גט קויאך, And then he fought, and he fought better. What did he eat? He took a stick, and it was toivel, he dipped it in ya'aras advash. Ya'arat advash is uh, like a beehive, like a natural beehive in Hebrew. Look, where the bees are concentrated naturally, like on a tree, like in a forest, right? But what's ya'ar in Hebrew? Forest. Why do you call it ya'ar? It's a beehive. A beehive is not a forest. Ela lomer lecha to tell you, מה יער התור שממנה בשבס חייב חטוס? אף חלוס דבש שרואה את הממנה בשבס חייב חטוס, which means, the Torah, the Novi to be exact, precisely, according to Blazer, the reason why the Novi chooses to call a beehive forest, to tell you, just like forest last time I checked, is full of trees. Banana, mango, all the, you know, yeah, whatever. You want to pick a banana from the tree. Why, am I, why can't I pick a banana off a tree on Shabbos? Which melocha? Koyser, tzover? Koyser, koyser. Says Rebbe Lezer, a beehive, if you take the honey from the beehive, you have because of koitzel. So that's what the Torah is coming to tell me. Now let me ask you a question. <laughs> what do you mean he told you? Is it connected or not? So I saw, what's Matthias? What's the reality here? So I saw the Baltanura in uh, Shviz. Yeah, the Baltanura in the second piece in the last parak, And I saw the Tiferes Asol endorses it from Yerushalmi, Mithush Yerushalmi. If you have a beehive that's completely disconnected, the modern day beehives, They're on the, yeah, they're standing on like a, a, a tripod or something, or some, something that makes it higher off ground. Of course, you're not, it's not called toilish. It's not connected to the ground. And everyone agrees that if you took the beehive and you cemented it to the ground, everyone agrees that's called toilish. Because the bee, because, because the, the honey grew, uh, grows there, although it's not something that's organic, it's not fruit, it is called mechubar lakarka. The question is, if it's on the ground, but without being connected. Then Rabbi Lezer says, look at the Novi. The Novi says, Yaras Advash. So even if it's not nailed or cemented, it's called part of the ground, and therefore not just for Shabbos. It's also called Mekarka for Kinyonim, for Prusbul, all kinds of things. And Chachonim say, this is a very nice story in the Novi. <laughs> it's not teaching me anything regarding the halacha of a beehive. And therefore, unless the beehive is really connected, we don't view it as connected. So if you take it out on Shabbos, it's also with the maybe because of its tircha, of the dechol, the chula, umnus, but it's not an Easter of koitzer. It's only the Rabbonah. Not the Oisa. No, no, no. We're not learning from the story of, of, of Yonason. We are learning from the words. Hekesh, Yarat Advash. We don't care about the story. By the way, some, some people think the Malbim says was well, sugar cane. Sugar gives you energy. It's very unhealthy, but it gives you a bit of a boost, right? It's for the war. Some say, well, the sugar, Yarat Advash is the cane of sugar. Some people say that. We just learned from the words, Yarat Advash. So Dvash is judged that is looked at as Yar, okay? Because that's where it naturally grew. So, it's a big Hiddish because it's not even fruit or vegetables, right? Lezer overcomes that too. He holds it to the license. Interesting. Now, before we continue, I want to fill in with a Ritva, because now we're talking, we're going to talk now about Washing the floors and about sweeping the floors on Shabbos. Very no gear. So first of all, the Miri says, the, 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 the Ritva says, the Ritva says, why is it according to Blazer, you have battle for sweeping the floor or washing the floor? Why? Because another big yesoid, one of the main differences between boine, mechubar lakarka, and things that are not mechubar lakarka is, when something not mechubar lakarka, you want to assemble a chair. You're not allowed to assemble a chair on Shabbos. But to improve a little bit may be allowed. House, which is Mechubal Lakaka, you should know. Any improvement to the house, like you tighten a screw on the wall or in the kitchen sink, it's Chiv Doraisa, possibly. Like the sink is a bit loose, the sink is Mechubal Lakaka. The pipe, the Chula, the Chula. You tighten it, you could be over Boina Doraisa. Yeah, yeah. I'm asking right, but I'm saying you know, quite Choshesh. Toisefes, Binyan is also where, even in Binyan, Binyan Kavu, even Tosef is also. When in those days they had floors that were alapanim, their floors were bad news, were made out of what? Dirt. When you sweep the floor, you're boine, you're improving the ground. 
you're really improving it. When you start uh, uh, splashing water on it, and it's not so dusty and disgusting, that is called boina, because you're improving the presence, the this, this state of the house. According to Blazel, that's Hibdo Raisa. Even if you're not going to do anything further than that, or Makibe Patish, that's a ritual. Then we have to remember on the side. The question is, what did Rabbonon say? The Rabbonon. Rabbonon said it's the Rabbonon. You're not allowed to sweep the floor on Chavez if your house is made out of dirt or sponge the house on Chavez. Is so the Rabbonon. And the question is, why is it also the Rabbonon? What's wrong? It's not the Raisa. The only thing it's Boina. It's also the Rabbonon because da 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 da. Oma, there was just an introduction, Baruch Hashem. Yeah, Amema. Shara Zilcha be Mechoiza. Amema allowed the people of Mechoiza. You know what Mechoiza were? Mechoiza was Beverly Hills. They were Mechoiza, Savion, Savion, Parash Mariau. Mechoiza were the richest people. They were so rich. You know how rich Mechoiza were? You're not going to believe it. All the houses in town were tiled. All the houses had tiles, had balatot. The, the houses were not made out of sand, right? Mamish millionaires. So because all the houses in town were made out, were 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 tiled, yeah, he allowed them to spritz and clean the floor with water. Why? Why what does that have to do with anything? Omar, he says, Time am I Omo Abonon. You know what Abonon said, you're not allowed to sweep the floor or wash the floor. Oh, when your floor is made out of dirt and there's a lot of gumois. A lot of holes and crevices. When you sweep the floor, that is of itself is not by the like a blazer. But you may very easily come to be tempted without realizing, although this is double shen miskaven, it's not psikesha, you may without kavana come to fill in the holes. And filling holes, you learned when I was in Chutzlaretz, you learned uh, in Dafin Gimel Amut Beis that filling in holes and leveling the ground. Is an iso dois of boina. So you sweep the floor very nice and not the chavono to fill in the holes, but you may, may very quickly come to do it. And when you spritz water, also you may come with the water to some level the ground, possibly. And because this is double shem is coven, we don't allow it because you may come to do it. So that's where we're going, sir. You shouldn't do it. But hocho in mechuza, not only the rich guy's house, everyone around are billionaires. They all have what. They all have tiled floors, nice marble. I mean, mainly there's no room for the xera because nobody in town has a, a, a kanka in the, the living room there is not full of holes anyways. It's all tiled nicely. I mean, mainly there's no room for the xera de Obonon. That's why today a lot to sweep the floor. Yeah, we have tiled house. Oh, wow, okay. What? Pshia, can I have a horror? Rove, Rove, Boch Hashem, Boch Hashem, so do I, even I. Rabba to his four, Ashkechel Ravina, the Kamitzar Mehevla. Rabba to his four found Ravina, and Ravina was suffering from the dust that was coming from the, where? From the floor. The floor is what? Was dirt, and it was oozing, what? Dust. Dalen the Marchish, the bread of Ashkechel Ravashi, the Kamitzar Mehevla. Or maybe it was Marchisha by the Rabbi Fan Ravashi. What did they do? It was Shabbos. They were suffering from the dust coming up, coughing away, and they did not wash it, not wash. They did not spritz water in order to, you know, make it, you know, wet and not dusty. Omale, why do you have to suffer? Lo Sova Lomar Laditanya, don't you hold by the following Braisa? Aroitzel Rabbit is based on Shabbos. What is the person, how can a person circumvent the Isl? And yes, be merabetz, merabetz means to spritz and splash all over the place. His house, his living room, his house on Shabbos, maybe a reva malaya mine. You bring in a reva, a bowl full of water, the rochitz ponov, you wash your face with zovisu, you wash your face, and by mistake, <laughs> the water flows on the ground. Yod of Bezovizu, you wash your hands in another corner, Ragla Bezovizu, your feet in another corner, Venim Sabais, Misavit Melov. In other words, Rabbanon were not Goizer, the Chashash of Dover Shen Miskaven, of you may come to be Mash Vagumois with the wetness, with the moist, if you do it, Bederich Agav. Ad Kidekach, Rabbanon were not Goizer. By the way, don't think Dover Shen Miskaven anyway. We'll discuss later, but even if you hold with Exer, because Dover Shen Miskaven, if it's done in an even more Eno Miskaven, you're not the chabano. I'm washing the floor. You just happen to be washing the floor as a the water of the refuse of your washing. That's okay. I didn't know it either. I didn't know it or don't hold of it. Tana, Raisa, 
We started with women with makeup, now we're women washing the floor. Isha Chachama says Rashi, a daughter of Talmud Chacham or a a wife of a Talmud Chacham, a, a woman who knows Allah, she knows the tricks of the trade, she knows how to wash the floor on Shabbos by washing here and washing there. What's a maskona? Ba'idna, now they disvil and kerabishim and chafil chatchila. That's a beautiful ending. Uh, I, did you get the chart with the, all the machlokas in Rabbidin and Rabshimin? Beautiful. I uh, mean, saying beautiful gemara, beautiful masechta. And and now Rabbidin and Rabshimin, one of the arguments is double shen miskavin. Here we see, right? Here we see on the spot. Nowadays, we're passing in the Rab Shimon, the double shen miskavin, which is not psikresha, what double shen miskavin. I'm doing something, I'm washing the floor. I'm not trying to build the house or to level the ground. I may or may not end leveling the ground during the sponja. There's running a risk. You're allowed to. So therefore, there's no issue of washing the floor. The Paskin at some stage. I even nowadays at the end of the Gemara. At the beginning, the Gemara didn't know who's the Paskin of the Buddha, and who was Paskin of the Everyone holds the Kabshimen in Dovah Shem Miskaven. The Bechloi Kesran and others is, is in the Melochish Tchalaguf, and not in Dovah Shem Miskaven. Dovah Shem Miskaven, everyone holds the Kabshimen, you're allowed to, million percent. You see here. <laughs> I'm saying from my. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm willing to your questions, but I need to get to my. Thank you to people on Twitter anytime. Thank you to people at home. Thank you to people, obviously, here, the Tzadiki, Mekam, Rebbe, and Pshia. And thank you to our YouTube channel. Shkoyach, Hatzloch, Hobroch, to everybody. Have an amazing Shabbos. Don't put makeup. Tell your wives not to put on makeup. Are you allowed to sweep the floors? You're not allowed to do sponja unless uh, with Kozenio. You're not allowed to use the the squeezing, the right, the thing, the...